uh, let me see if I can unpack that because there are a number of things that you've mentioned there. So the, the first, what was the challenge of doing 20,000 square feet with a Matterport Pro 2 camera? Well, this was a commercial space and this has uh, challenges that will surprise people, but if, they, if they've been using a Matterport camera or a system for long enough, they'll know that large open spaces or repeating geometry uh, can challenge the camera and its ability to uh, recognize where it is in the space. It has a hard time registering uh, the scan and will sometimes place it where you already scanned if it looks exactly the same. And, and so it's very difficult to, to overcome those things unless you have differentiated geometry that the camera can then recognize as a new area. So, uh, so first problem related to the commercial space uh, was uh, the camera, the Matterport Pro 2 camera or the Matterport Cloud being confused about how to actually build the spatial data uh, because of the re repetitive space. Yes, that's correct. And it was open and therefore we only had two planes of information. You have the floor, which is one plane, and then you have the ceiling, which is another plane. And I had hoped with the open and exposed ceiling in the shell condition space that we would have been able to have overcome it. And that was my hope. Overcome uh, it with the Pro 2. Overcome it with the Pro 2, which in pretty much 95% of cases in the past, we had been able to do, but this space just wanted to be stubborn and difficult. And so, uh, you know, the the tech, the photographer that was out in space, uh, you know, just had expressed some frustration around it. And I said that, well, I know that we have access to a Pro 3 if we make a call. So uh, let's see if we can get a Pro 3 here and to see meaning to to borrow a, a Matterport Pro to hire yes to hire another uh, one of our contractors who had a Pro three and to see if that would sort of solve the problem which I I was fairly certain that it would solve the problem because I knew the range would be much better and therefore the reading from the core of the building to this and the ceiling to the window line uh, would give us that enough data that we would be able to, you know, even if they were minor differences, it would be enough for the camera to register the scan. And, and were you successful using the Matterport Pro 3 camera? Yes, absolutely. And not only that, but that space was finished in, I believe, an hour and a half after we started. Uh, so we have half a scan. And I did a video on this, but we have a half a scan that was shot with, you know, this incredible density around the core of the building with scans placed just a few feet apart from each other. And so you have this massive density. And then we were then introducing into a halfway finished space, you know, maybe we'd done about 10,000 square feet or something. And then we introduced the Pro 3 camera and then we were able to, uh, with fewer scans, with fewer time and with fewer uh, errors, we were able to complete the scan in, in roughly an hour and a half. 20,000 square feet? Uh, no, the, the remaining portion. So like maybe 10, 000. 000, about 10,000 square feet, we wrapped up in about an hour and a half. Hour and a half. 